First, this is a 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and then spun out in the washing machine until it's just damp. It has also been flipped inside out since this is going to be ice dyed. Here's my thought on this one. With a normal spiral, you section it off and each of these is a separate color. And then if you do the flip it over, um, you would do the same colors, or you would just do it from one side and let it sit in the muck, or anything like that. What I'm thinking is what if we do like this, but then when we flip it over, and we're just going to imagine we flipped it over, we separate it to where the pie sections overlap each of the other sections. And we do this as a rainbow. So that, like on one side you have the yellow taking up this section would be yellow. And then this section on the back side would be the orange. And you work like that. I don't think I've ever done something like this. I don't think I've seen anything like this. So let's try this and see how this turns out. So I'm just going to spiral this up and then we'll go on from there. Okay, so let's start with red. We're going to do red like this. This is the. So then it'd be orange. So this one would be yellow. Let's go ahead and move that a bit like that. I'm making yellow a bit lighter. Then we'd have green. For this side. Okay. So we're going to flip this over. I'm going to cheat here just a little bit. And I'm going to mark the centers of each of these. So I know what I'm working with. So that yellow center would be roughly right there. Oops, sorry, took it off the screen. And then this center would be roughly here. Alright, so red is here. So orange needs to be between these two. Watch, I'm going to mess this up somehow and somebody's going to be screaming at their screen going, No! You just did it wrong. So that's orange, yellow. So we need green between these two. Oh, that green is the bad green, I think. There we go. So there's green. So violet would be this last one here. Right there. All right. So that's the idea. We'll see how this turns out. Off to die. Okay, I'm going with a few different colors than I normally use on stuff. Going with fire red, orange crush, Lemon yellow, 
and daffodil. And the reason I'm doing that is to put the bright yellow down and then go over it a little bit with some daffodil just to be able to get some extra splitting since the lemon yellow will not split as it's a primary. Um, new emerald green, cerulean blue, and power berry. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first colors, lay down some ice, and we'll go from there. All right, we'll let that melt through, and then we'll do the next side. All right, it's melted through. Let's go ahead and flip this. I'll wash my hands off. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Alright, I'm going to add a little extra soda ash, and then we'll put the ice down. Okay, no clue why I'm having so much problem with ice. We'll let that... My oldest is laughing at me again. <laughs> Go ahead and let that melt through, and then we'll do the washout. Alright, it's time for the washout. Alright, off to wash, and we'll take a final look. Alright, here we have the front. And the back. Do I think the results are any different? I I'm not sure. I think it looks better but I didn't do a comparison, so it's really hard to tell. It looks like you have better separation between the, the primary and secondary colors for those. So the red, yellow, and the blue versus the orange, green, and violet. I think it has better separation. Um, even out here, it looks pretty good. I'm not saying this is the way to do it necessarily, but it's certainly something to try and see if it works better for you um, to separate those out versus doing it as a standard um, six segment pie. I don't know. There's, there's, I wouldn't say there's less yellow because the yellow tends to get um, marked out by the other colors anyway. Yeah, that's a new term I'm going to use. But I, I think it's more defined as far as the colors go. I mean, there's a rich orange, there's rich yellow, greens. I think it looks good. So I might do it this way from now on for simple spirals, uh, simple rainbow spirals. 
What do you think? Let me know down below. And until next time, thanks for watching.